Under all business, we get information requests. Um, and what we have is, uh, we got the CIP. I guys sent that out to you guys, right? And I assume we can classify that as satisfied, yes? Yep. yep. Okay. There were a number of requests made at our last meeting uh, of Christy Pulliam during her MIS presentation. Um, and so they're reflected on our spreadsheet now. They are the 2018 article balance relative to the technology article. Uh, the new disk drive's intended usage, she wasn't certain of that. She was going to get back to us. Likewise, uh, Brian, you talked about the PC replacement schedule, and she said she had an Excel spreadsheet, and she assured us we'd get the Excel workbook on that, so we've got that there. The wiring costs associated with MIS, I think it was like $5,000 every year for the last whatever number of years. Uh, she wasn't sure exactly what they were going to rewire, so we asked her to get back to us on that. She's got software licenses up there. The ones that were cited were the SAM and the firewall software licenses. Um, this is an interesting topic, you know, because I've worked in many MIS departments, IT departments, and one of the things we do annually is review software licenses and all that. And guess what? We don't pay uh, uh, these annual fees. I mean, you're talking a considerable amount of money that we pay for annual fees for software we already bought just for having someone to call on the phone that we never call on the phone, whatever corporation we're dealing with here. And I suspect that's true here in, in yeah. town, but I wanted to address that, and I did raise the question, will it continue to work? She said she didn't know she'd get back to me. Isn't that generally for, like, maintenance? They have it Exactly, the so-called yeah. maintenance fee, yeah, right. in which they do nothing, generally. Not always. Some of them do. Well, but you have to be discreet with each one and say, okay, this is worth having a maintenance fee or it's not kind of thing. So you're suggesting we, we're looking at every piece of software and then going over with them or just having them hand us up the results? What is it you want from that? Uh, I, the question that I posed to her was whether those particular software licenses, the, uh, the so-called SAM as right. well as the firewall software, whether they would continue to work if we didn't pay the annual maintenance. And so that's what she's going to get. Maybe back look at the last four or five years and see if we ever used a maintenance program. And theoretically, as a oh yeah, there are other questions. I think central yeah. is will it work or not, kind of thing. You know, when you proceed from there, uh, you know, in subsequent time. Yeah. Uh, okay. So thank you. Any anything else on that? Okay. Um, and of course, uh, Mr. Warburton gave me yet another task, which was <laughs> to uh, to get an official or a legal opinion on the second year trash truck lease. Um, uh, what I have done is I've observed the selectman's presentation. Uh, they had a presentation uh, Monday of last week. I assume you all saw that presentation, yes? In which they discussed uh, a, a recommendation, I believe the phrase was, mm -hmm. from DRA, uh, which they decided not to pursue. Mm -hmm. um, with that, as I had spent a few days trying to contemplate exactly what question I was trying to get answered, uh, and, and that was raised, I thought, well, gee, I'll call DRA and find out what they were recommending and why. And uh, that proves a bit challenging to get in contact with someone uh, that could actually deal with that topic. Uh, eventually, I talked to a supervisor there and uh, spoke for about an hour and got subsequent email from him in terms of documentation as to what they were recommending. And essentially, what they were recommending is, is that because, well, first of all, let me, let me begin by saying that if you have a five-year lease with a non, oh, excuse me, if you have a five-year lease and there is no so-called escape clause, technically called a non-appropriation clause, um, then what you have is a requirement to get it passed by the legislative body, that is to say the town meeting voters, by a 60% vote because they're committing in future years just like a bond, it's considered a long-term debt yes. by, by law. But when you have a non-appropriation clause, then you're only appropriating for one year. Mm, right. And of course, a one-year appropriation only requires a 50% uh, vote by the town meeting voters. In the Warren <coughs> article in question, which was passed in 2018 of March, uh, was a one-year appropriation. Uh, so the question is, what's the proper way of, of appropriating money in subsequent years. 
you can do it through the budget or through a separate warrant. And DRA recommended um, that each year there be a separate warrant article to appropriate money for that year's lease payment. Okay. DRA is not an enforcement agency. They only are there to provide advice, uh, and so they advised me. Okay. Uh, they sent me some uh, legal cases, judgments on, on relative to this topic, which I've examined. Uh, apparently, uh, the most recent one was uh, apparently done pro se. That means to say the guy didn't hire a lawyer. He just went to court and filed his complaint. Judge heard it, agreed with him, and ordered <laughs> the town to make appropriate adjustments. Uh, so that appears to be the next step. But I would suggest to you that the political process is not over, and it should be done in-house. We shouldn't have to go out of house to resolve the issue. Um, so I had a conversation with, with Fred. Uh, asking him if, uh, if uh, well, we had a conversation in general, but during that conversation, I asked um, if he had a problem with me asking for Mark Gerald's legal opinion on the matter, because apparently he did not get one, neither did the board select and get a legal opinion from Gerald prior to them deciding not to follow the DRA recommendation. Um, Fred told me that that would have to go through the board selectman because the town lawyer does not work for him, it works for the town of Slackman, which is a point of confusion for me. I thought that was changed last year, but I guess I was wrong. And no, I have not contacted NHMA for their legal opinion yet, because the time was Christmas and all that coming up, and yeah. I figured I'd better wait for this meeting and get uh, direction from you guys as to what next steps you think is best for me to take. So uh, with what I've just said, I open it up for discussion. Uh, any thoughts? Um, j just a point of clarification. Um, if you watch the questions I asked Attorney Gerald, I asked him who he reports to, and he said the manager. Huh. And now th this is what's been happening. Th that it, when it's convenient, it's been going on for. Uh, you asked, so I asked our selectman's rep. I mean, it when back when Mark Gerald was hired, he worked for James Barrington, mm -hmm. and then they changed it to the selectman, and they changed it back, and then they changed it again. I guess I'm just trying to figure out. Because that's an important part of this. Mm -hmm. So for the town manager to tell you that after the attorney said right here when I asked him. And we talked about that. We said, he says, well, now I report to the manager. And now the t town manager's telling you that I, it's, it's always when there's a tough issue coming out. They, they want to just, like, slide it. So that's the question. That's my first question. Can we get that? You know, can we, could somebody say who they work for around here? Or, I mean, well, perhaps Regina can clarify. Go ahead, Regina. Yes, the town council works under the, the town manager as with, you know, public works, fire, similar yeah. to that. We made that change, I don't know, a year or so ago, maybe year a year, ago, year and a half ago. Yeah. But I think what Fred is probably saying is that because we voted the way we did at the last meeting, it's going to have to all come to the board again mm. because we already made a decision. So the legal opinion is going to have to come to the board of selectmen, regardless of whether it goes to Fred in between or not. That's how I, you know, I mean, but the town manager. I understand what you're saying, but it's a little confusing to me because, yeah. you know, early in the spring we went through the protocol routine. Well, a lot of things are confusing to me, and I'm a selectman, so <laughs> I, I totally understand what you're talking about. So I understood the protocol. If I need to get anything answered from someone uh, that works for the town manager, except Christy, who I can go to directly, then I have to go through the town manager to make the request, uh, which is what I was attempting to do, uh, or beginning to attempt to do. So independent of, of what you describe, and I do understand what you're saying, uh, that is the protocol, or maybe it needs to be further refined. Mm. I don't know. But uh, anyway, um, I, I think that one option would be simply for me to contact uh, the chairman, uh, Rusty, and you know, get his advice as to how to best proceed on that particular point if you think Gerald's opinion is uh, worthy of pursuing. Any thoughts? Yeah, I, I think, and let me just thank you. Um, add to that. I think it's important that we pursue it because there is a question that DRA was posed and DRA, whether it's legal advice or good advice or whatever, DRA is DRA. And what they're suggesting is not what's being implemented. And so my, I mean, how many times throughout the years have we heard, well, DRA recommends this, DRA, and we, we follow the letter of the T with DRA because, you know, they set the tax rate and everything else. So my 
I, I think we should pursue it because in my mm -hmm. mind, the voters are going to feel much better one way or the other if the opinion, in parentheses, is it is what it is based on last year and the appropriations are one lump sum, we don't do it every year, or we put it on the warrant. I, I think that's a, this is a very important milestone because these multi-year contracts could continue to, to happen. And so I, I, however we do it, I think it's, it's important to uh, pursue, I think. Any other so I, I think we ought to have an answer. Right. They got another proposal in here. From Gerald and NHMA? Or? Well, either or, or both. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, Could I make a suggested uh, sure, position go ahead. we take? Or? I say that you would let me contact my chairman and see if we can have a legal opinion to our board of selectmen at our next meeting, and then we can take it from there. Yeah, time, the more time we, the better. When is your next meeting? The seventh. Yeah, you're not meeting till the seventh. That's a long way. That's away. a long way <coughs> away. <laughs> I mean, I can contact. Then I would be fine for whatever. I think that if you want a legal opinion from the town council, we should probably go that route. Contact uh, Rusty and. Yeah. I, I think so. See, Time is the of the essence. Of tell the manager to send it. Uh, yeah. Well, I don't want to tell anyone anything. I'm just well, want to. I'm going to well, consult with Rusty as yeah. to what's the best way to uh, to uh, get the opinion and get try an to follow that the, process because yeah. we're getting close. And I, I right. want to be enough time in the schedule for yeah. for these opinions to be consumed by everyone, including the selectmen. Maybe they would reconsider uh, their position uh, rather than to have to wait up to the moment of the deadline and. And take you know more. Yeah. Uh, if you get a timely decision, it'd be worth it. Yeah, yeah. Really well, worth. Could I also ask that that email to Rusty goes to the vice chairman of the board of selectmen, which so happens to be myself. No, I'll send it to you as the selectmen's representative okay. to the budget okay. committee. <laughs> All right, there you go. That works. That will work. Good. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, NHMA mm -hmm. as well is that. Uh, well, you also know. desirable. They, you talked to DRA, but you haven't talked to NHMA. Correct. Nor, nor because right. of the holidays. Right. I wanted to pursue what was done at the Board of Selectmen's so meeting. You, you, could, you could try it to see if they... I think it might, might also help you, Brian, in terms of formulating your attitude toward continuing funding NHMA. Uh, so I mean, that may be useful in that Did context. you think I had changed my mind? <laughs> no, I'm just saying it could be useful yeah. in your consideration. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I, I continue to own this, and I will continue to try to get well, thank you. Good, the best good results work. possible. Okay, okay. 